The grace of our risen Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. And we pray. God of mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. Increase in our minds and hearts the risen life we share with Christ and help us to grow as your people toward the fullness of eternal life with you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please. A reading from Acts. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. The message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced. 
how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, and how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear. Not to all the people, but to us, we were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. We will intone Psalm 118 as designated in your bulletin. Reading from 1 Corinthians. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are all, all people must be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ but each in his own order. Christ is the first fruits, then is coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes to the end when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father. After he has been destroyed, every ruler and every authority and power, for he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last of enemies to be destroyed is death. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the 24th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week at early dawn, the women came to the tomb taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. 
But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of Jesus, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping to look in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please. Let us pray. Holy God, you are mighty indeed. You bring us here to this house of worship to celebrate the resurrected Son, the risen Lord, Jesus, forgiver of our sins. Thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for your mighty deeds on our behalf. And now may the words of our, my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable to you. Amen. Whom are you looking for? In that first gospel reading, while it was dark, when Mary went to the tomb and stood outside weeping, and two angels in white ask her why she's weeping, they have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. She says through her tears and through her grief. In front of her, there is emptiness when she knows Jesus should be right there. It's an emptiness that started inside her at his crucifixion. An emptiness that drew her here to the tomb where his body should be. Do you know emptiness? Do you know that feeling of something not quite right? Something missing? Most of us know some kind of emptiness at some point in our lives. Maybe when a child moves out. Maybe when the doctors aren't quite sure. Maybe when the job falls through. Maybe when the relationship struggles. Maybe when someone you love dies. And then you know. And then you know the emptiness. You know something is missing. The sad truth is that some people feel this way and there's never any relief. They don't know what Mary learned on that first Easter morning. Mary knows what it feels like to be empty. And then to have Jesus call her by name. Jesus called her name, and she was immediately filled with joy. She was filled with love, and all the emptiness and hopelessness was suddenly filled by the love of Jesus. We, we may know emptiness, but we also <laughs> know that Jesus calls us by name. When we come to the baptismal font, Jesus calls us by name so that we will know what Mary knows, to be filled with the love 
of the resurrected Jesus. We are a people who come to the empty tombs of life when we know that Jesus is right there. Resurrected Jesus, risen Lord, fills every emptiness. Jesus fills every emptiness so that you and I can know the joy and the freedom that Jesus gives us. And just like Mary, we too announce the good news, I have seen the Lord. So empty tombs are never empty. Jesus stands right there beside us and fills us with his love and fills us with life. His resurrection is our good news. His resurrection is our reason for joy. His resurrection is our invitation to life filled with love. His resurrection is our promise that we will have eternal life. His resurrection is our promise that because Jesus conquered the power of sin and death, Jesus conquered all the emptiness that this world brings. And we know, we know the joy of being filled with the love of Jesus. Jesus fills us to overflowing with his mighty, powerful love and forgiveness so that we are bold to proclaim with joy, I have seen the Lord. I have seen the Lord. One more time. I have seen the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. and profess our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father.
On this most holy day, let us pray to God for the church, the earth, and all in need, that the whole world may know the resurrection that God promises to give. O God of life, pour the life of your Son's resurrection into the churches. Make visible the unity we have in you. Show to each denomination the strengths of the others. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Give to the lands and seas the life of your continuing creation. Water the flowers of springtime and nurture the growing crops. Bless all who protect your plants and animals. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Grant to all nations your life of peace. Keep us from war. Lead us into justice. Turn enemies into friends. Hear us, O God. Visit the needy with your compassionate life. Feed the hungry. Nurse the sick. Protect the weak. Comfort the sorrowing. Attend the dying. We pray especially for those on our prayer list and for the family of Alice Grant and the family of the Brody children. Hear us, O God. Raise up this assembly with the life of your spirit. Reveal in your community the signs of Christ's resurrection. Hear us, O God. O God of life, we praise you for the faithful who have met you in death. Bring us all through death into the life of your resurrection. Hear us, O God. O oh God, we praise your life, we bless your mercy, we honor your power. Transform all that is dying with the joy of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, through whom we are bold to pray. Amen. A peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Please exchange that peace with one another.
Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth. Day by day you shower us with blessings. As you have raised us to new life in Christ, give us glad and generous hearts, ready to praise you and to respond to those in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Mighty Lord, gracious Father, endless is your mercy and eternal your reign. You have filled all creation with light and life. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. We praise you for the grace shown to your people in every age, the promise to Israel, the rescue from Egypt, the gift of the promised land, the words of the prophets. And at this, the end of all ages, the gift of your Son, who proclaimed the good news in word and deed, and was obedient to your will, even to giving his life. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this. For the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, O God, with this bread and cup, we remember the life of our, our Lord offered for us. And believing the witness of his resurrection, we await his coming in power to share with us the great and promised feast. Send now, we pray, your Holy Spirit, that we who share in Christ's body and blood may live to the praise of your glory and receive our inheritance with all your saints in light. 
join our prayers with those of your servants of every time and every place and unite them with the ceaseless petitions of our great high priest until he comes as victorious Lord of all. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we are bold to pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. You may be seated until the usher comes for you.
stand. And we pray. Life-giving God, in the mystery of Christ's resurrection, you sent light to conquer darkness, water to give new life, and the bread of life to nourish your people. Send us forth as witnesses to your Son's resurrection, that we may show your glory to all the world. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.
So go in peace to love and serve the Lord.